Hello. For this problem, <clears throat> we want to find a confidence interval. When you're finding it, you first want to decide if it's mean or proportion. And by looking at the symbol here, we can tell it is a mean. Sorry. It is a mean. Um, but if you couldn't tell, when you read inside the problem, it has... 48 cookies is my sample size. Find the number of chocolate chip cookies per cookie in the sample mean. So that tells you mean also. So you have to decide if it's a mean or a proportion. In this case, it's a mean. Now, if you're using the Excel, they have the table set up for you. If you go down to chapter 8, whoa, too far. There we go. Here's the spreadsheet for minimum sample size, point estimate, that's for proportions, and then this one is for mean. So when I click on it, we have this spreadsheet. Enable editing. And then I'm going to bring up your prop. The problem was right here. Okay. You type in here, and the answers are here depending on what you're looking for. This is if it's a T confidence interval, and this is a Z. MOE is margin of error. And so for this one, sample size. If you look in the problem, 48 cookies, the mean, 17.5, standard deviation, 2.7. Now this is a Z interval because 48 cookies is larger than 30, and the confidence was 98% as a decimal, 0.98. And right here, 16.6 and 18.4, which is what your answers were. 